In 2005, Stephanie Meyer spewed forth twilight upon the face of the earth. This of course turned into movies which generated sheer hatred and on the other end of the spectrum, complete adoration. It also resulted in tons of fan fiction and it was through this particular body of work that Fifty Shades of Grey was born. It was eventually turned into a book and then we fast forward to 2015 when the film has finally been released. It stars Dakota Johnson. Jamie Dornan, and directed by Sam Taylor Johnson. Now just in case you don't know the basics of the plot, a young English lit student, Anastasia Steele, goes to interview a relatively young yet successful businessman, Christian Grey. She is attracted to him and he finds her irresistible. She becomes intrigued by his mysterious nature and quickly ends up in a world of BDSM. Now, I have never read the books, but I've been told that they are badly written and full of grammatical errors. That can be believed just by viewing this movie. You see, the bottom line is, this is just a terrible film. Allow me to elaborate. Dakota Johnson is a decent actress, and she pulled off her part quite well. The only problem is, her character is completely flat and becomes rather irritating really fast as she continues to whine about the same thing throughout the movie. Then we get Jamie Dornan who is just terrible as Christian Grey. His performance was just wooden and stiff. Not only that, but the chemistry between the two actors is non-existent, which fails to keep the audience enticed and makes the film feel really dull. The storyline is one-dimensional, it is weak and offers nothing more than what you see at face value. Now granted, people will argue that this is due to the story of the book and it focuses on these two people, but come on. The writers could have added some more complexities and explored Mr. Gray's life in a bit more detail. Instead, the story just seems to stagnate and it feels like you're watching the world's longest soap opera. I also don't believe that Danny Elfman was per the perfect choice to score the movie. This is just not his type of genre, and you could hear that he was out of his element, as the music of the film just gave it again a, a soap opera type feel. Then of course there is a selling point of the movie. The sex scenes, the nudity, and the whole bondage aspect. The nudity and the sex were obviously scaled down drastically for the film, but there's just no sensuality. This could have been the focal point where the film got it right, but nope. It was just gratuitous and it felt like it had to be there due to it being the crux of the novel. And I've been told that the film does not reflect a true representation of the BDSM subculture. Instead, this borders on domestic abuse. But the movie has taught a very important lesson. Fantasy is better than reality, so rather stick to the book and avoid wasting two hours of your life on this drivel. So that in mind, Fifty Shades of Dull gets a shadeless 2 out of 10. My name is David Braz and thanks ever so much for watching my movie review. If you liked what you see and want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button.